Hello everyone! Welcome to our lesson number two. Before we proceed with our lesson, new lesson, let's review our previous lesson. In the past, we've learned about present simple affirmative. Affirmative means a positive sentence. So we've learned the usage, why we use present simple, and we've learned the three rules in changing verbs when we use with pronouns he, she, it, or when we use with subject singular, singular subject, okay? So now let's proceed with present simple negative. Negative is just the opposite of the affirmative. The same sentence will apply. The same, the same usage of present simple will apply, but it only differs with the word don't and doesn't. What have you observed? What have you observed? Aside from don't and doesn't. Okay, in sentence number one, we read, we don't like music. What's the verb? Like. Number two, he doesn't cook. What's the verb? Cook. What have you observed? Do we need to put S? No. Do we need to put ES? No. Do we need to put IES? No. So all the verbs that we're going to use with negative, are the base form so you will have you will not be confused remember all the verbs that we are going to use for the negative form is the base form of the verb but there's only two rules remember pronoun e with its partner i we you they we is a plural pronoun. We. I, we, you, they. they. They always go with same rule. Okay? Don't. Just use don't before the verb. And now that's a negative. We like music. We don't like music. Always use the don't. What about the partner of he? What about the partner of he? He, she, it. We use doesn't. Doesn't is the short form of does not. Don't is the short form for do not. But we will not use the long form. We use the short form. Don't, doesn't. Okay? He cooks, cooks, he or she studies, but for a negative, present simple negative, he doesn't cook. So remember, I, we, you, they are plural pronouns or plural subject use don't plus the base form of the verb. He, she, it, singular pronoun, and singular subject, use doesn't in the base form of the verb. So that's our present simple negative. Simple, right? All right, I hope you can now distinguish, you can now differentiate, you can now remember the rules in present simple affirmative and present simple negative. And for our next video, you will have your new exercises. I want you to apply what you have learned and see you on next video. God bless everyone and bye.